Hey, Greek, Peyton here. Congratulations on your retirement. I wish you all the best in this next chapter for you. Thank you for all the help and support that you gave me during my time with the Broncos and especially that first year dealing with all that injury and rehab and uh, just your positive encouragement and uh, work ethic and this detailed plan really uh, made such a big difference for me, getting me back out there on the field and uh, playing well in my first year as a Bronco. So I appreciate you. I love you. Just respect all the uh, service and work you've done, the people that you've uh, impacted in your career. Uh, it's, uh, it's special and it's unique. And uh, uh, that's why you're the best. So uh, good luck. Stay in touch. And we'll see you soon. Go Broncos. Hey, Greek. Hey, man, it's been a long ride. It's been a great ride. I want to thank you for everything, man. All the anchors you've taped, all the uh, the tears you wiped from eyes. You know, you you were the best at it, and you know I'm gonna miss miss you being around. I hope you probably still be around here though. You can't you, you can't get this out of your blood. But uh, thank you for everything over the years. I consider you a true friend, and uh, you know you're the best trainer in the world. So. Uh, Love you, man. Greg, I want you to know it was an honor for me to play for you, with work with you, and and uh, be able to call you my friend. And you've done so much for the Denver Broncos. You'll always be a Denver Bronco, and you, Denver Broncos will always be Steve Antonopoulos because of the, the groundwork that you laid forever. So it's an honor for me to be able to call you my friend, a great friend. And I just want to say thank you for all you've done for me, as well as the Denver Broncos and Bronco country. I love you, buddy. Steve, congratulations on 45 incredible years with the Broncos. Thank you for everything you did, not only for our organization, but for me, for Pat Bowen, his family, my family. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done. I just can't thank you enough for being as good as you've been with me throughout the years as an assistant, as well as a head coach. The only way you have a chance to win championships is if you have people at the best at, at what they do. And I can promise you that you are the best of all the organizations, all the trainers that I've been with, with my 40 years of coaching, 30 at the NFL and 10 at the collegiate level. There's no one that compares with you, what you've done and how you're able to handle people, your job, and to make people feel comfortable. Today, it doesn't uh, exist. Players are always trying to fight with the trainers. Never happened with you. You had, you had the ability to relate to anybody, players as well as coaches. I just want to thank you for being who you are and congratulate you on your success and obviously a happy retirement. You're the best, Greg. I promise you that. There's no question about it. And you're the reason why people win championships. Thank you. Enjoy retirement. Enjoy Arizona. Hey, Greg, top of the morning to you. That's the way you greeted me for 30 plus years. Hey, listen, congratulations to you and your family on a tremendous career. Uh, you're a special person. And, you know, as people who got to work for the great, one of the greatest organizations in sports, the Denver Broncos, I can say this, that nobody, nobody in that organization influenced as many people as you did. Whether it was players, whether it was coaches, or whether it was owners, you influenced so many people and their families along the way. And I'm so happy to call you my friend. I wish you all the best and happiness with you and your family, whatever you choose to do. I love you. I wish I was there to give you a hug, but you have a great day. And once again, congratulations. Congratulations on retirement, Greek. Um, I can't thank you enough for, for everything you've done for me and my family and for my career. Um, you've had an unbelievable run here with the Denver Broncos. I'm going to miss you. Everybody's going to miss you around here. Um, best of luck with retirement. Hell of, a, hell of a run, Greek, respected by so many around the league. You know, as I get older and um, I start to think, you know, what other teams have in, with their athletic training department and what we have, man, I'm just blown away by the job that you've done for me and so many colleagues around you and so many guys around the league. And, you know, we love you and I appreciate you, Greek, and congrats on a great retirement. Greek League, congratulations on 45 years spent with the Broncos, bro, you know, I we enjoy, I enjoy my time with you and hopefully you enjoyed your time spending with me. There are a lot of afternoons that, you know, I didn't have anything else to do. So I would just hang out with you until you like, okay, Sharpie, I'm going home. And I was like, okay, me too, Greek. 
Rick, I really enjoyed it. I appreciate everything. I made, I appreciate you getting me back on the field when sometimes I didn't think I was going to be able to get on the field uh, by the end of the week. But you told me, hey, stay positive. Let's get this treatment as much as you possibly can, and let's give it a go on Sunday. So I appreciate everything you did for me in my 12 years in Denver, and i sure I speak for a lot of the other Broncos players. Thank you. 45 years, well-deserved retirement. You've earned it. Congratulations, Bree. You know, if there were a Hall of Fame for uh... – for trainers, uh, you, you would be the first inductee. I think you're as good as there's ever been at that role. You did it uh, at a high level, and you did it at a high level over a long period of time, but never were you antiquated in your philosophies. Um, you always kept up with the times, in fact, ahead of the times. Um, you know, I think a great illustration of how great you were were the amount of people you placed in the league. And you look at your imprints, they're all over the National Football League in terms of trainers that worked under you, uh, the, the imprint you had on that organization. And uh, it was very clear when you got there. You know, not many people just go by a one-word name, and, and, and you were just Greek. You know, I heard Steve Ananopoulos, I think, for the first time reading a media guide four years later. But, but Greek is an institution in Denver. Um, you know, you'll forever be a special part of the Broncos and the Lynch family uh, in our heart. So I want to thank you for everything you, you did for us and, and for the Broncos over the year. Congratulations on your retirement. Enjoy it. Thanks, Greek. Hey, Greek. <laughs> Coach Wade Phillips. Man, congratulations on all the work you've done, all the great work. Congratulations on uh, your uh, birthday um, anniversary. Uh, what is it? Oh. Uh, Oh yeah, your retirement. Yeah, so uh, I'm one of the few people that uh, certainly knows your real name, Steve Antonopoulos. Just in case you, people don't know, but I'm still going to call you Greek. And uh, uh, you you've done a great job there. Now, how many times have you retired? I mean, I, I seem like I cried at a couple of them. Uh, but uh, again, what a, what a great job you've done throughout the years and. Uh, everybody that's been around you has, has really appreciated what you've done. So, uh, and especially so, I, I, I really believe this, and, and I think we need to do this for sure, is put your name up in the ring of honor for the Broncos because you certainly deserve it. I love you, buddy. Uh, thanks for everything. Hey, Greg, congratulations. Patrick told me that uh, you're going to retire. It's hard to believe. But God bless you and Susan. You're going to have so much fun. Uh, I'm so excited for you and your family to actually get to enjoy life. Uh, but, Greek, I want you to know how much you meant to me in my four-year tenure there. Uh, those early morning meetings down in your office uh, were tremendous for me and the part of success I got to experience. And I know this, Greek, that uh, you've been a great, huge part of the great success the Broncos have had. I know Mr. Bolin and coaches get a lot of the credit. Uh, but I got to tell you, I uh, know from my experience and any coach I ever talked to that was with you, uh, how highly they spoke and what a big part you were uh, of the Broncos' success and will continue to be. But, Greek, uh, go put some more miles on that car. I know you uh, it's just your play car right now, but now that you're going to have more time, uh, expect to see more miles on that pretty little blue car you got. Congrats, Greek. I miss you. Greek, you, you know what I think of you and the career that you've had with the Broncos. Uh, you brought them along to have great medical care. We're privileged and honored to be a part of that team with you as the leader, in all honesty. You've been with that team for so many years now and done such a good job. The reason you've done such a good job is because the players trust you and you give them good advice and you communicate with them so effectively. So right off into the sunset, I hope you have as much fun retiring as I do. I play golf and tennis. I know you're taking up golf. You're probably okay. Maybe we'll play together one day. But anyway, great to you and Sue. Uh, congratulations and enjoy retirement. Greek, congratulations. Uh, you, you've, led the, you've led the path and you're completing the journey. I'm so excited for you to move forward and start the next chapter. But thank you for your impact. Thank, for, thank you for teaching. Thank you for everything in your career. You, you have helped me as a man, as a person, as an athletic trainer, and I am beyond grateful. Best of luck to you and Susan, your family. Enjoy retirement. 
we'll, we'll miss you, but I know that we'll stay in touch as friends forever. Thank you for everything and congratulations. Hey, Greek, I don't think I can uh, uh, you know, truly articulate how thankful I am to you and everything you've done for me and my career professionally and, and as well as me uh, as a person. And, um, but uh, um, I know where I, I would not be in the place where I am professionally um, if I didn't have your help and guidance over the last uh, you know, 20 some years here. Um, you were given an opportunity um, and maximized on that opportunity uh, every day for the last you know, 45, 47 years, whatever it's been. Uh, and, a, and what an example for all of us. Um, you know, everyone that's had the opportunity to work for you and with you, you've made us all better. And, uh, um, you know, uh, the people who haven't had a chance to work with you, um, you know, you, you've improved their lives too, of all of us athletic trainers and, and pushed the profession and, uh, and made it better for all of us that have followed you. Um, you've worked your butt off for, for the last 47 years and uh, you deserve a great retirement. So congratulations, um, you've earned it, so enjoy it. Um, there's this thing my dad used to say to me when he was proud of me. Um, and, uh, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that, that Dan Libera and Mr. B are looking down and saying, you done good, Greek. So congratulations. I love you. Enjoy retirement. Um, and uh, thank you for everything. Greek, Rod Smith here, man. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me and Broncos country, man. Almost 50 years in one organization. You definitely uh, should have your name on a building around there somewhere. But uh, honestly, we love you, man. We appreciate you. It's always great to see you and the wife and the family. And I know just bigger and better things are going to go from here on out. And uh, I just want to thank you for everything you did for me, uh, especially when those times when I, I needed you more than I knew that I needed you. And you, you gave me the confidence to go back out on the field and perform. And I can promise you my sentiments are, are shared by thousands and thousands of guys and people that work in the organization. So again, thank you, man, and stay blessed. Hey, God bless you, Steve. Thank you for everything you've done for me. And uh, I wish you all the best. And you'll be missed, but we'll be in contact. Uh, congratulations, Greek. Quite an accomplishment, you know, 40 plus years. We're gonna miss you around here. I know you're off to uh, get some good rest and relax relaxation, much deserved, by the way. Uh, but it's certainly gonna be different around here without you. So uh, we're gonna miss you. Good luck. And thank you for everything you did for me and this organization. Um, we can never repay you. Thank you. Hey, Greek, it's good you're finally getting to this point and retiring on the terms that you want to retire on, however quick or slow you want to do it. We'll love to see you around when you come around and actually appreciate the fact that you won't be around every day, but you've certainly left your mark and left us all wanting to do everything here while, while you're not here like you did it while you were. Appreciate everything you've done over the years. You've always been a mentor to us and everybody, no matter the department, anybody that's had the chance to work with you. So. Hard earned, love to see you getting some time away and congratulations. Congratulations, Greg. You know, you know I love you. Uh, you meant a lot to everybody, uh, especially me, because I think I was in there more than anybody else in the training room. So, you know, good luck to you in your future endeavors and I, I hope the best for you and uh, your family and love you. Well, Greek, I've had the privilege of working with you for 27 out of your 46 years with the Denver Broncos. From our first meeting at Dove Valley in 1994 and our first recheck combine to my first American Bowl in Barcelona with Wade Phillips as the head coach. Then through 14 years with Mike Shanahan as the head coach. Obviously, during that time, we went to two Super Bowls, won them both. And I thought at that time, God, what a great job. Every four or five years, you go to two Super Bowls and you win them both. Well, obviously, as we all know, it's, it's not that easy. We then have gone through 27 combines, 27 recheck combines, almost as many dinners at St. Elmo's, about 430 regular season games, two more Super Bowls, two Pro Bowls. And finally, this last crazy year of COVID with you in the coveted position of infection control officer. And during all that time, I have admired you for your unwavering dedication, not just to the Broncos organization, but to each of your players. You are a constant. You're always here. I can count on the fingers of one hand the number of times when I would arrive at Dove Valley and your truck was not there in the parking lot. You've trained many of the head ATCs around the league. 
and your experience is truly unparalleled. You've taught me much and you've helped make me into the sports medicine physician that I am today. Similarly, when you reconnected with Susan, your old childhood friend and now wife, you became a happier and even more lovable Greek. I'm proud to have worked with you side by side for all these years, and I will miss seeing you on a regular basis. But I do know that our friendship will endure. And Kristen and I wish you and Susan much bliss in your new home for many, many years. Opa. It's about time, Greek. Um, and I thought you were going to do it a little bit ago. Um, but I know how much they love having you around there. Um, it's been, you've been a special guy there with the Broncos, special guy in the NFL. And um, I really hope you can spend this time with your family, enjoy it the right way, never get too far away from football because, you know, everyone loves you around, players, coaches, everybody. Um, but you've earned this. You know, you've had a hell of a life, and I want you to make sure that it only gets better after you get out of the football situation. Great. Congratulations. Uh, you know, best of luck to you after uh, once you get retired here. It's been a long time coming. I uh, really appreciate everything you did for me in my career, and I wouldn't be here without you. Best of luck, and, and thanks for everything. Hey, Greek, just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. It's certainly well-deserved and well-earned. Um, sir, you've had an amazing run, uh, and not many people have been able to do it, and you ran it. So certainly um, thank you for being a part of my life. Um, you took a green kid uh, and uh, made him a professional. You've been a father, a boss, a friend, a mentor. Um, you showed me how to be a professional and an athletic trainer. And um, I certainly appreciate you for that. So certainly thank you for those opportunities. Hey, best of luck in retirement. Enjoy yourself. Um, all the best. Well, Greek, I guess the time has come for you to, um, to hang it up and go and enjoy life. Um, congratulations on your retirement. And I wish you the best in the future. Again, I appreciate everything that you did for myself and my family, and I look forward to uh, catching up with you in Arizona or wherever you may be and playing a little bit of golf and uh, just uh, rehashing over uh, good times and old times. So, again, congratulations and well-deserved and uh, unbelievable career. Um, uh, take care, stay healthy, and be blessed. Hey, Greek, I just want to congratulate you on a great career. I wish I could have, you know, set, stayed as long as you did. Um, I didn't quite make it in uh, quite as many years, but I don't think there's anybody in the NFL that, uh, from an athlete trainer that's been able to do what you did. You are, you are the GOAT. Uh, but anyway, Christy and I uh, just wish you and Susan the best. Hope that uh, you enjoy retirement. Uh, I play golf every day, and I know you told me that you're, you're learning the game. So maybe we can get together and play a little golf. But anyway, what a great career you've had. Uh, you're, uh, you're certainly a testament to the whole athlete training profession. But for me personal, what a great friend you've been. Congratulations.